Mexico at the UN. Well, Kennedy Teguiriz is a conflict resolution uh, specialist from Conciliation Resources. That is a peace-building NGO, uh, and he helped facilitate peace talks between the Ugandan government and rebel groups in 2001. And welcome to you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. How difficult will it be to try to bring the warring factions in the Central African Republic together? It will be extremely difficult because the conflict in Central African Republic, or what we are seeing today, has, hasn't come out of the blue. It has accumulated over many years. And essentially, it's lack of government in the rural areas, lack of government beyond the capital city, and uh, the influence of the external forces. The conflict we are seeing has got a cross-border dynamic, has got cross-border element, when you look at all rebel groups in Central African Republic, they begin from neighboring countries and end up in capital Bangui. This is how President Bozize came to power. This is how Michel Jotodia came to power. And that's why we are seeing the space for other armed groups, including the Road Resistance Army that started from Uganda and has ended up in Central African Republic. And some of Michel Jotodia's supporters have joined the army. Others stay as a rebel group. I mean, it must be hard if you're uh, trying to broker some kind of peace deal, some conciliation, to know who you're talking to. It is extremely hard, but it's doable. They are, the most important thing as we speak is the need to establish security, both in the capital and also in major towns. And that's where we hope the peacekeeping troops that have been approved would go a long way in establishing a framework on which peace building and humanitarian work can be done. I mean, we were talking to someone from the United States earlier who advises the U.S. Defense Department and who's an expert on this particular region. He was saying, that, you know, if you compare the Central African Republic, it is roughly the size of Texas in the United States. Huge. Yeah, that's and true. yet you're talking about 5,000 troops. What difference are they going to make? Uh, the reality is that too little, too late. 5,000 is small compared to the magnitude compared to the tasks that are ahead. And most importantly, there is no infrastructure beyond the capital. It's very hard to move for 10 kilometers in four hours. So the task ahead is too big. The challenges are too many. But we think that this would send a signal to other rebel groups in Central African Republic that maybe their days are numbered. And maybe the international community for once has woken up and taken Central African Republic issues very seriously. Uh, uh, but presumably, although you said it's going to be extremely difficult, you think that progress could be made, it's not going to happen overnight? Yes, it won't happen overnight, but the intervention of the UN and the troops would send a very strong signal first and foremost. But most importantly, uh, they will create a framework for humanitarian intervention. They would create a framework for addressing the intercommunal violence that has, been that has been happening, especially in the last one year. And I know religious leaders or faith-based leaders that we've been working with in conciliation resources have been at the forefront of this. So this would create a framework and create conditions for them to intervene. And Kennedy, it's just worth kind of dwelling on the humanitarian crisis that is unfolding there. There's a total lack of governance. People are fearful for their lives, fleeing their homes and hiding in the bush. Yes, because there's nobody to trust. There's nobody to turn to. And most importantly, there is no mechanism of delivering aid, even if it's there. Humanitarian agencies are stuck in Bangui. They can't move beyond the capital. Even when they fly to major towns, it's extremely dangerous. So that's why we think that the intervention of the UN is timely, though too late, rather is too late, but very important. Most importantly, it would help create conditions for the humanitarian agencies and other peace-building peace agencies to do their work. Okay, Kennedy Tumutegaris, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Thank you very much indeed for coming on to uh, Global to talk to us.